My name is Jay Carlson and I am the consignment director of VHS at Heritage Auctions. It's a fast expanding category where there's a lot of enthusiasm behind the collectors and I think it's going to be a, a big success. What most collectors are looking for at this point is uh, sealed VHS, typically from 1977 through the late 80s. Popular titles that most people would recognize like Goonies, Star Wars, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future. Uh, and, and ideally what they're looking for are first releases of those titles um, with the original watermarks. The first thing you want to look at is the uh, date on the tape and uh, see when the initial release was uh, compared to when the movie came out theatrically. Um, a lot of tapes were released within a year or so of the theatrical release. The original releases uh, would have certain characteristics like the watermarks on the tape itself. Um, the date is usually printed somewhere on the case, and again, you want to look for a complete seal, make sure that there's no holes or issues with the seal. Um, a lot of times, video stores would re-shrink tapes uh, to, to sell them after they use them, so that's one of the things that you have to look out for and why the watermarks can be so important, especially in, in just dating what, what year the tape came out. So this Blade Runner is not the first release of Blade Runner. This is actually the second release uh, that was released by Embassy Video in 1986. What's, what's great about this one is it does have uh, a, a watermark uh, that's very visible um, and the date on here is good. The seal is complete and uh, it's in very nice shape uh, for, the, for the year that it came out. I mean, we're, we're over 35 years here. Um, on the tape. So this, this is what makes these, uh, these tapes valuable is the fact that for the most part they were meant to be opened and watched and enjoyed and so to find tapes that are 30 plus years old, some of them 40 plus years old that are still in their original shrink wrap and unwatched, um, that's what makes them rare, that's what makes them scarce and, and that's why those are tapes that collectors are looking for. The grading system is very similar to video games. There are a few companies that grade VHS with even more on the way. We're accepting submissions only from VGA and IGS currently. The grading companies are looking at those characteristics like what, what condition the box is in, um, is the seal complete, is, are there any rips in it, are there watermarks, um, that type of thing to make sure that it hasn't been uh, reshrink wrapped and sold again as a video store copy. It's, it's become very competitive to find stuff on eBay, so there's a lot of people that are just looking locally. A lot of uh, thrift stores and secondhand stores, um, you know, antique stores, uh, you know, they, they might have tapes, you know, that are still kicking around, that are still sealed. Um, you know, so, so you know, in, in lieu of looking on eBay and trying to trying to compete with everybody else finding those tapes, you know, you can you can sometimes find some, some gold even at like a Goodwill. Movies are sort of a thing that connects everybody and so uh, everybody's got a favorite movie and so I think as a collectible it, it, it translates to, you know, uh, many different demographics. So it's, it's interesting just to just to talk to all these different people and see what, what they like and, and ultimately that's, that's what makes uh, VHS collecting fun is just that everybody's got favorite movies and um, you know everybody everybody's into a certain type of thing and so everybody can collect what what they like. There's so many different kinds of movies from so many different years that um, you know it makes it makes it kind of fun. If you're a consigner and you think you might have a VHS tape that's valuable, um, if you were to reach out to us uh, to discuss your collection or what you found, um, we can walk you through. But generally, you want to look for date ranges on the on the tapes between late 70s when they first started being produced and then the late 80s, early 90s, and then to make sure that they, they have good watermarks on them or, you know, that's one indication. They don't necessarily have to have watermarks, but um, sealed, complete, in good condition, doesn't look like they've been opened and watched and then re-shrink wrapped. Um, but, you know, it's, it's title, like I said, the titles that, that most people love from that period of the 80s where they were producing far less tapes because people didn't have VCRs. Up until around 85, a lot of people didn't have uh, anything to watch VHS tapes on, so there weren't they weren't selling as many. Plus, the prices put them out of range for a lot of people. When they first were being released, they were somewhere around 80 to 100 dollars a tape, um, which is another reason why finding any of them sealed still is is exceedingly difficult. Because if you're spending 80 to 100 dollars on a tape, chances are you're going to open it and watch it. And so, just the the limited production plus the fact that they were meant to be opened and watched, and the you know. The, the titles themselves make it valuable. So it's the time period, the title, you know, a couple different variables that can make a tape valuable.